Hello everybody, welcome back to Cork and Java, your go-to place for wine and coffee, how-tos and reviews. Today we are going over our top five tips for beginners who want to get into wine. Without further ado, let's get to it. Tip number one, go to wine tastings. It might be a little bit obvious, but to get good at wine, you have to try wines. And wine tastings are one of the best ways to try a lot of wines for cheap. And a lot of times, grocery stores and different wine shops, they'll have free tasting or very uh, cheap tastings where they'll have a great selection of wines to choose from. And a lot of times there's someone that's very knowledgeable about the products because they're trying to sell it to you who can really teach you about the different wines and uh, how to taste them and different techniques and all that. And if you're really lucky, maybe you live in an area with vineyards nearby that you can actually go to the vineyard and try the wines that they have there too. Yeah, that is the best way because you're going somewhere that is personally making the wine, so they'll have the most information for you. And really, the more you learn about wine, the more you begin to appreciate it, and the more you begin to really develop the taste for different styles and uh, begin to just really delve into the world that is wine. Yep. Tip number two, tasting technique. That's right. Um, for tasting, there's so much that goes into it from just observing the color and uh, just seeing what the product of the grape has produced. Um, that's really interesting just to see how it is on the glass. And also you want to make sure you're smelling your wines. Mm -hmm. Most of your tasting, your taste buds and all that is actually through the nose. Uh, so smelling your wine first and really Thinking about all the things that you're experiencing is a very big important part of it. And if you notice people swirling their glasses, it isn't just because it looks cool. It's uh, actually agitating the wine to release a lot of that bouquet, which is uh, going to help you smell and uh, also aerate the wine a little bit, which makes it a little bit smoother and can cut down on some tannins and stuff like that. But That's what people mean when they say their wine is breathing, yeah. when it's aerating. Yep, so swirl your wine and uh, definitely go first with the nose. One other thing about technique is swish it around your mouth a little bit. That really kind of releases a lot of that aroma as well and that'll like go up into your nasal passages. So um, that is one way to really get a burst of flavor from the wine and uh, really get a lot of those flavors to, to come out and to separate a little bit. <coughs> Tip number three, expand your grocery list. That's right. Go to the grocery store, go to that produce section, get a bunch of things you wouldn't normally try and get things that you normally get anyway. But the point is, when you get home and you're eating your food, don't just gobble your food down and don't like mindlessly eat like we tend to do naturally. Really think about the flavors that you're eating. Think about elements like acidity, sweetness, tartness, um, what are some other things? Black currant. Who uses black currant? But it, it's something that's in a ton of wines. And see if you can pick out those flavors in wines. And uh, the flavors that you um, pick up in wines, everyone is a little bit different. If you're tasting or smelling something and no one else seems to be, I mean, be yourself. That's that's what <laughs> that's what you're smelling and that's what you're tasting. So um, that's all right. Tip number four: Learn how to pair wines with food. That's right. You can start off with the basics. A lot of dry whites are good with, you know, seafood, you know, some softer cheeses and some um, sweeter and spicy things. There's general guidelines out there. You can find this all on the internet. A lot of red wines, they pair, pair well with darker meats and uh, like red meats. Um, they pair well with a lot of Italian, Italian. dishes. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as cheeses, they usually do do well with uh, harder cheeses, aged cheeses. There's a, there's a lot of stuff with cheese that, um, you know, just chemically in your mouth with wine, just it's probably one of the, the most drastic of the food pairings. That's why so many people pair wine with cheese. There's such a marriage to it uh, with, with cheese, but you know, Different foods like you know chicken and pork also go well with white wines, and uh, but there's plenty of charts and stuff if you just Google it 
where you can find tips on how to pair wine with food because you don't want to pair things wrongly. Um, that could just be bad. If you saw one of our previous videos, a Cabernet Sauvignon does not go well with ice cream sandwiches. So don't do that. So learn what you should and shouldn't pair with different types of wine. What would you say for um, pairing like wines with dessert? So there's is there a, a rule of thumb for that? Yes, there is a rule of thumb. Typically, um, you want your wine for dessert to be sweeter than whatever dessert you ha you're having. So there's a special class of wine called dessert wines, and they're very sweet. A lot of times they're also high alcoholic content. Um, there's different techniques they, they can do to make the sweetness level go up, um, and they can also fortify the wine. So with your desserts preparing, definitely pick up one of those dessert wines for that. And finally, tip number five, be part of a wine community like our group on Facebook or Twitter to learn more about wine. <laughs> Shameless plug there. <laughs> so yeah, join our Facebook group. It's called Cork and Java. We got a great group of folks in there. We're all experiencing wine and coffee as well together. And we're just, you know, really learning a lot. And uh, we're all sharing our experiences. And we even plan to do some events where we'll have uh, everyone try like the same wine together yeah, that way group tasting. yeah group tastings so join the group and uh you, you'll definitely learn a lot there if you're new to wine um also follow us on twitter it's at cork java so follow us there and if you like the content of this video it's also helpful if you hit that like and subscribe button below so you get notified when uh, we post more videos that way you'll learn a lot from uh, this YouTube channel. Yeah. All right, so those are our tips. We hope that you've learned something if you're new to the wine world. Yep, so without further ado, bottoms up. Yeah.